honey. For thousands of years, human beings worldwide have harvested this bountiful resource of Mother Nature as both for food and medicine. For over 30 years, Happy Valley Honey has been producing natural honey products from the unspoilt natural landscapes of Aotearoa, with as little human influence as possible. Happy Valley is about quality products. It's not just about the financial returns here, it's about the honey. So we're passionate about honey and providing quality products. It's the essence of life. Bees have been here before man. If you go through all the biblical writings and such like, you'll find bees will be present in everything. A lot of our visitors travel from all around Auckland to come here. They always ask, where are the bees and what do you do with the honey? So this video is for our customers. Also, we have a lot of export customers these days and they also want to know um, where the honey in New Zealand is coming from and what and how we do it. It originally started with a person by the name of Ben Ronsley and Dot, his wife. They operated it for a number of years, started from nothing. We met him over a number of years supplying honey to him and eventually we got the opportunity to buy into the company. Uh, we took it with open arms and we've grown it from a backyard business to becoming more of a professional business supplying product around the world. In 2011 my family interests took a share in Happy Valley Honey. So we've got a unique situation where two families are working together from the harvesting of the honey through to uh, documentation uh, for export. We have family values here, we employ family and it's families who buy our honey. Our advantages over other companies would be the fact that we are a family owned business that uh, has a hands on whereby we, we have a production arm which is a company called Bee Enterprises. The main floral sources from which we gather honey are clover, rewewa and manuka. Generally the most important thing is to have pollen and gorse being a farmer's nightmare is our friend. Anywhere with gorse the bees seem to do well because pollen is protein and after that becomes a honey source, mainly around the edges of bush and farmland. After the honey is harvested off the hive, it's transported back to our extraction facility in Waiku. It's then sorted into its floral sources, deboxed, inspected, then it goes through an own kappa. through an inline pricker which loosens the honey and it's put into a centrifugal extractor. Once it's gone through there it is then pumped into a spin float which separates the wax from the honey into a holding vat and then filtered and drummed off for sale to Happy Valley Honey. Yet Happy Valley Honey has remained at the cutting edge of research and technology within the honey and medicinal industries harnessing the power of this new information to provide our customers with the purest bee products on earth. Over the last six months we've spent quite a bit of capital on building a new plant. This includes a new filler, new automatic capper, Dutch and sealer, and a labeler that can do three labels. This is important for our contract customers together with our own Happy Valley customers and that we can provide packaging at a first class level. As well as packing Happy Valley honey products, we also pack other clients who have their own brand. Those clients include Red Seal who go into New Zealand supermarkets. They include a number of customers who are now making inroads into the Chinese market. And what we do is provide them with, again, quality products packaged with their label through our facility and this allows us to get some economies of scale in terms of our packing ability. Happy Valley Honey's export markets include Macau, China, Hong Kong, Middle East, um, particularly in a country called Qatar and we also have a presence in Singapore. The other thing that we're doing is new branding. In that branding we have six categories. One is the active range, two we have a range for native honeys then we have field honeys, we have a range for immune, which is our bee pollen range, 
Honey Health, which includes the bee venom and bee venom rub. Our last uh, category is Honey Royale, which includes fresh raw jelly. It also includes raw jelly and honey together with uh, raw jelly tablets. A lot of other clients only have honey. We have a range. It's actually been discovered through a scientist at the Waikato University, Dr. Molan, that some honeys have certain health factors. Particularly, the manuka has an active uh, factor in it, which he developed, and it has tremendous ability to fight bacteria. It had been discovered in the 1960s that the antibacterial activity of honey was due to hydrogen peroxide. The bees add an enzyme to the nectar they collect and it's that that produces the hydrogen peroxide. But that didn't account for how one honey could be much better than another. And the possibility was that Manuka honey had something else in it. So we tested that by adding an enzyme to destroy the hydrogen peroxide and we found that Manuka honey kept its full antibacterial activity, which meant it had something that wasn't hydrogen peroxide. And this very quickly got referred to as the non-peroxide activity. So we started testing all the types of bacteria which infect wounds. And what we found is an extremely broad spectrum of action. We haven't found any bacteria it doesn't work on. We've also tested it on these superbugs, the ones which are resistant to all antibiotics. And they are completely sensitive to Manuka honey. It works on those just the same as any other bacteria. And that's what caused a large amount of interest in the medical profession. My advice to consumers is to check with the company producing the honey, not with the retailer, uh, that the number rating the activity on there is rating non-peroxide activity. The values for Happy Valley Honey are integrity. Our customers rely on what's on that label and that we are true to label. In terms of our activity tests for our product, as we label it as a 5+, 10+, 15 plus, we have always done a double test on everything that we've ever done. However, in recent times, since Hill Laboratory has actually come into the scene in terms of a, a credible tester and a certified tester, we are finding the need to double test is actually disappearing fast, or has virtually disappeared, because the accuracy that they're getting to is is actually very, very heartening. At the moment, we're the only fresh raw jelly producers in New Zealand, all of which is sold through Happy Valley Honey. Royal jelly is a substance that's been produced to turn a normal bee's egg into a queen. And the egg is the same egg when it starts. It's actually the ingredients in the royal jelly that makes that into a, a different bee. So you're talking about some really special powers of the royal jelly. It can only really be done by making the hive temporarily queenless and putting in specific cell cups into a hive. It happens all over sort of four days. The cells are then grafted with specific eggs that have been laid by prepared hives and then put into the host hive that's been made queenless and all the young bees will actually feed those eggs royal jelly as opposed to a very minute amount which they would normally feed to a worker bee. They feed copious quantities. After three days that's when we take those cells from within the hive and we we extract the grub that is now formed from the egg to the grub uh, into the first hook stage, take that out and then we actually physically vacuum clean the royal jelly out of those cells. The history of it, it's, it's always been used by Chinese people particularly. Um, they're well versed in the use and the good of it, same with Japanese people. In terms of just well-being, it has like a balancing effect in your body. 
but it needs to be taken under your tongue into those two pituitary glands and that immediately goes into your bloodstream. Royal jelly is considered to be a natural concentrated source of vitamins and minerals. I think of it as nature's multivitamin. I do know of laboratory studies that show that the proteins in royal jelly are very potent at stimulating the immune response, which means it has the potential to boost immunity. It is the purest royal jelly in the world. So at the end of the day, it's probably proof in the pudding, really. It, it, it is done very naturally and uh, very professionally. Flowers have two things, pollen and nectar, and both are the plant's mechanism for attracting bees and other pollinators to the flower to actually cross-pollinate. So surplus pollen is wrapped around the legs of the bee, they wrap it on there themselves, then they move to the next flower. So consequently you're moving pollen source from one flower to the other. They have nectar and pollen and they need both to survive. They can't survive on one without the other. There is a lot of promising research into bee pollen and a lot of my patients are taking bee pollen and report especially extra energy. The benefit of taking bee pollen is, is quite amazing really. If your body is out of sorts for some reason or another, um, by taking bee pollen it actually helps you balance your body back again. There are two main studies that I know of about bee pollen and one of them showed positive results in lung carcinoma and the other one showed really great results using bee pollen for enlarged prostate. Pollen and propolis have a high content of flavonoids, polyphenolic compounds, which are in honey and are probably important in some of the actions of, of honey. Uh, certainly I've looked at research on these sorts, published on these sorts of compounds and uh, they do things like uh, inhibit the growth of cancer cells and have anti-inflammatory properties. And the fact that it's got an awful lot of vitamins in it, instead of taking uh, vitamin pills, if you took the pollen, you're getting it all in one shot. Sports people actually get a lot out of it. If they're down, for some reason, they, they're not performing the way they, they believe they should, by taking bee pollen, that, that will definitely help them in my opinion. As you're getting older, you don't have the stamina perhaps that you used to have. It certainly helps in the elderly community. Um, probably that's the biggest area that it's used in. Um, and the benefits of it are expressed by many people as being you know, something that they wish they'd got onto a long time ago. But there is one pollen that's probably better than any, any of the pollen, and that would be the gorse pollen of all things. It really has good value in it. Bee pollen is harvested by putting traps on your hives that the, the bees have to physically crawl through holes no bigger than themselves and as they go through and they drag their legs behind they brush, it gets brushed off and into the trap. So the bee gets through with a very small amount left on his leg and he's lost the biggest part of the uh, capsule from off the side of his leg is dropped into your trap. Bee venom is an interesting one, it, it, it is a poison of course and it's used by man for the purposes of aches and pains and, and people with arthritis. It eases pain and gives you an ability to live with it. Two forms that it's sold in, uh, mixed with honey at certain levels that become edible and the other is via a, a rub which you rub on the aching joints and that is an immediate reaction in terms of taking away pain. Bee venom is fantastic in a cream or ointment and it seems to have real benefit with arthritis or sore muscles and even gout. I do know that the peptide in it, which uh, melatonin, which is responsible for its anti-inflammatory activity, is a very, very potent anti-inflammatory agent and is actually sold as a pharmaceutical in its purified form. Bee venom harvesting is done many different ways, but the process that is used by the people that we work with 
is by using glass plates put on tops of hives. In the short they take the lid off, they put the glass plate with an electrical current that is actually applied across the glass. Bees don't like the electricity. It's not a harmful electricity, but it's a nuisance electricity. And they rise up out of their hives and sting through the mesh and the venom squirts against the glass plate. And so they leave it on for basically an hour to, uh, to drain the bees of their, basically milking the bee of its venom. And then they take it off and they'll put it into cabinets, take it away and dry it in laboratories. And then they scrape the bee venom off once it dries into a dry powder. Bees use propolis in the natural environment to seal cracks or holes that may have occurred or to cocoon things like mice or any other foreign objects that they can't remove from the hive to stop spreading disease. If a tree's branch breaks, it will excrete um, a sticky substance out where the break is. That's actually propolis. Uh, the bees come along and collect that. That's uh, the natural antibiotic for the tree to stop disease getting into that cut or break or wound. And the bees collect that and they use that as their glue in the hives to stick the frames together, to stick the lids down so you can't get into it and all that sort of thing. And uh, it's been tested and it's, it's the strongest natural antibiotic known to man. It has a range of properties from, you can use it for sore throats through to ulcers. I use propolis tincture regularly as a topical anaesthetic or antiseptic and also in mixes with other herbs for sore throats and that kind of thing. The process for collecting propolis is actually pretty wide and varied, but we have actually a patented device and it's a series of plates with holes in it. It collects some of the purest propolis uh, of all the different mechanisms. We've had it as high as 85% when we've had it tested, uh, and whereas other mats sort of sit around 40-45% proof. So it's a very high quality propolis that we get off these particular mats. It's not about the money side, it's actually about the relationship. And you don't immediately see the benefits of relationships. Uh, it takes time. What we say we mean, that's for sure. And um, I think anybody who's traded with us would realise that we, we do live by what we say.